Hey, you guys, welcome back to Diva Style. So, you guys know I'm always coming up with like something weird, like something weird. Okay, so I was making some beads, right? And these beads came out cute, right? But guess what, y'all? I made them out of toilet paper, glue, and water. Like, that's all you need. Toilet paper, glue, and water. You can't get no cheaper than that. And they are very sturdy. Now, I do have some of these on cords and chains, so ignore that. But I just want you guys to see what they look like. Like, they are very, very cute. Like, I couldn't believe the way they actually came out and looked. Like, this is really cute. This one is on a, um, like a little cord for my daughter because she likes chokers. And I'm mad that this stupid camera is not focusing. But you guys, these are super cute. And they almost, this one right here, like, reminds me of, like, a um, like a rock that you would just find and paint. Like, it, these are super, super cute. And like I said, it's much cheaper than going out and buying some bees on a strand. Um, super cute, super quick. These are very, they get hard. Rock hard because, like I said, you're using um, glue and water. So they do get hard. Um, they are very sturdy. You can make big pendants, um, beads. It just depends on the size that you're going for. But this is definitely a craft that you guys can customize and, like, do all types of things to and with. Like, seriously, I think I'm going to keep experimenting these were the first ones that i made and you know your first ones are never your best ones you know the more you keep doing it the better you get so um i'm definitely going to keep playing around with this because like i said honey toilet paper everybody got toilet paper can't get no cheaper than that it's it's toilet paper so um yeah we're about to go ahead and get up into this craft you guys i will see you soon Okay, you guys, this project is very messy. I'm not even going to lie to you. Um, messy, but cute. Um, all you need is to start off is four strips of the toilet paper, and you will need glue. Only glue I got right now is some Mod Podge. I'm going to use my old Mod Podge rather than the new one. And um, just go ahead and put some glue right there in the middle. Oh, wow, too much. You want some glue, but you don't want that much. Make sure you have some uh, water on hand, too, and then you're just going to go ahead and just crumble it up. Crumble it up, saturate it. Yeah, you see that? Your hands are very, like I said, make sure you have some water on hand. I'm just going to get this a little bit wet in the water because you want to be able to Form it like that and shape it. And now you can pretty much just shape this into any shape you want. You can make it resemble a rock. You can do a square and then, you know, paint it. Whatever shape you want it to look like, you can use it. Um, make it a pendant. You can roll it into a ball to make some um, big beads. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and roll this into a ball. As you can see, I have a ball right there. If you have a paintbrush, you can also use a paintbrush or some water to help smooth it, smooth it down. And then you're going to want to let that dry a little bit, but you are going to need some toothpicks. Once this dry a little bit, you're going to stick your toothpick through it so that, you know, you have a hole to thread your, uh, your string. But you're going to want to put this on some wax paper. I'm unprepared, so I don't have my wax paper out. So I'm just going to put it right there for now. And, yeah, I'm going to wash that off. <laughs> Once it dries a little bit, this could can be a little difficult but it shouldn't be too difficult figure out where you want to puncture your hole and just squeeze this on through
And some of the toilet paper might come out. If it does, that is fine. You can reshape this, re-wet it, and, um, you know, re, um, redo it, I guess. Okay, so, yeah, some came out. As you can see, that's what it looked like. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this time and wet my paintbrush with some water. Because that's all it takes. And just rework this in. That is all it takes. And now that it's on a toothpick, you actually don't have to touch it. And you can keep going until this is as smooth as you want it. That's good. So I'm actually going to put this somewhere to dry right now. And yeah, you let that dry. So I actually started this earlier. So of course I got some that are dry. These things are so hard. It's like, it's crazy. And I just did some weird shapes. I mean, I don't have no no set shape in particular, just weird shapes um, that I'm going to paint with nail polish. But you can't use acrylic paint. You do not have to use nail polish. Oh, that's a pretty purple. I'm sure you guys know I do not paint my nails. This is my daughter's nail polish. Let me see. Uh, um, uh, what is this? What are these called? Toothpicks. Because you know what? I can just uh, go ahead and string this thing on through. And just hold it and do the whole thing. So now just go ahead and spend your time decorating it as you want. And then I will be back. So I actually started this earlier. So of course I got some that are dry. These things are so hard. It's like, it's crazy. And I just did some weird shapes. I mean, I don't have no no set shape in particular. Just weird shapes um, that I'm going to paint with nail polish. But you can't use acrylic paint. You do not have to use nail polish. Oh, that's a pretty purple. I'm sure you guys know I do not paint my nails. This is my daughter's nail polish. Let me see. Uh, um, uh, what is this? What are these called toothpicks? Because you know what? I can just uh, go ahead and string this thing on through. And just hold it and do the whole thing. So now just go ahead and spend your time decorating it as you want. And then I will be back.